So today we're gonna do a really simple and amazingly decadent recipe. Um, we're gonna use some brown butter, we're gonna use some Nutella, we're gonna use some chocolate chips, some milk chocolate chips, we're gonna use some sour cream, all of that just to make a nice crazy um, cookie. So we're gonna start with the dry ingredients. So two cups and one fourth of a cup of flour. So make sure each time it's exact measurements. Now to this, we're just gonna add a little bit of baking soda, so one teaspoon and one fourth of baking soda. This is really bitter, so if you put too much of it, it's just not gonna work out, but it helps perfectly just to rise the dough. All right. Next, we're gonna add just a pinch, about one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. All right. Next thing we wanna do is we're gonna take one cup of butter, I know that sounds like a lot, and we're just gonna brown it onto the stove. So once your butter is in at medium high heat, you're gonna see that the natural sugars that are contained usually in dairy will just naturally caramelize and it'll get brown. But you just need to make sure that you tend to it or else it will burn up. Uh, once you see these little specks of little brown in there, you know it's pretty much ready. So we're just gonna keep it aside and then we're gonna add this to our sugars later. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is gonna do our, our wet ingredients basically. So we're gonna start with one and one fourth cup of brown sugar. Then we're gonna do one fourth cup of just white regular refined sugar. To this we're gonna add a whole egg. And then we're just gonna add one yolk. Next, we're gonna add just a little bit of uh, sour cream here. So I'm gonna get one tablespoon basically. If you wanna use sour cream, you can use sour cream. If you wanna use um, Greek yogurt, you can also use Greek yogurt. So we're gonna give that a mix, and then we're gonna add in our brown butter to this mixture here. So just put the whole thing inside, slowly, so this doesn't um, splatter everywhere, basically. Okay, now that your mix is done, basically, we're just gonna add a little bit of vanilla, about one teaspoon, and then we're just gonna remove this from here. Give it a nice quick toss. Make sure it's all well combined. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold in our flour mixture into this wet mixture here. So we'll start with half, and then I'm just gonna fold. As you fold in, you'll see it get more and more coarse, and that's exactly what you want, because you know, we're trying to do cookie dough here, not a cake batter. And once it's well incorporated, we're gonna add the second batch straight in. And there we have it. It's just like a nice cookie batter. It'll get harder and harder to fold and that means it's basically ready. Now if you're not going to use this right away then you have to keep it in the fridge so that you can still form bowls with it. But if you're going to use it right away then it's okay. Uh, we're just going to make the balls and then we're going to put it in about 350 Fahrenheit for about say 15 minutes or until it's nice and brown around. Next thing we're going to add here is about a cup of a mix of dark and milk chocolate chips. And that just gonna go simply inside and well mixed with everything. Once it's all well incorporated like that, we're just gonna take a nice cookie sheet here to bake. And I'm gonna spread butter all over it just to make sure nothing sticks. And now comes the fun part. So I got the sheet ready. Open my Nutella. You want your Nutella to be room temperature, so something that's nice and gooey like that. You don't want something that's too thick. Put a little flour in my hands just to make sure it doesn't stick either. And I'm gonna make these balls. I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of the cookie. I'm gonna flatten it into my hand. Then I'm gonna take the Nutella and place it inside, just a little bit. And I'm gonna fold it onto itself until it creates basically another ball. And then we're just gonna flop it onto there and flatten it a little. So the Nutella is really all over the dough, basically. So we're gonna do that for the rest of the sheet. Okay, right before actually putting it in the oven for about 11, 15 minutes, uh, what we're gonna do is just take a little sea salt, rock salt, and put it on top of every cookie, because I believe that sweet should always have a balance of salty. And especially with sea salt, what's great about it is that you're gonna have that that bite to it, that crunchiness and that texture that you look for. So you'll have a nice crispy caramelized cookie with some chocolate and then just a nice bite of salt. All right, put it in the oven. So after 15 minutes in the oven, you'll see they dice, 
they went around quite nicely and you have that salt that stayed intact. So we're just gonna keep it in the cold for about, because usually they're kind of soft when they come out. So we're gonna keep them out for about five minutes, 10 minutes in the cold before you can actually bite into them. Uh, so we're just gonna keep them on a rack and cool them out. So after about 15 minutes in the oven, you get these nice and hard cookies. That's the way I like them. I don't like those soft, chewy cookies because what I like about these is that you can just break them basically and you see you have everything that holds perfect together and it, it's the perfect dipping cookie basically. Wow, that's rich. But it's really good. You really taste the milk chocolate. You taste the Nutella. You taste that brown butter and that saltiness and just that flake of salt which makes a whole lot of difference.